कोई गर इम्तिहा आए तो सज दो में सदा करना ومن الليل فاسجد له وسبحه ليلا طويلا And during the night prostrate thyself before him and extol his glory for a long part of the night The prayer at night is termed in Arabic either qiyam al-layl which means standing at night or if occurring after any amount of sleep tahajjud and is the most important of the farz prayers that is obligatory this is based on the prophet muhammad's peace be upon him clear words the best prayer one can perform apart from the obligatory prayers is one performed at night from bukhari abu huraira narrates that allah's messenger may peace and blessings be upon him said our lord the blessed the superior comes every night down on the nearest heaven to us when the last third of the night remains saying is there any one to invoke me so that i may respond to his invocation is there any one to ask me so that i may grant him his request is there any one seeking my forgiveness so that i may forgive him the time of tahajjud the last part of the night is a special time for acceptance of prayers what is the definition of tahajjud It comes from the Arabic word tahajjuda which means to keep watch and to wake up from sleep. In Islamic terminology it means to wake up at night for optional prayers especially in the last part of the night. Hazrat Masimahud alayhi salam advised us in Mulfuzad volume 1 If our entire lives are spent in worldly engagements what will we have accumulated for the hereafter? Make a special effort to wake up for tahajjud and offer it with fervor and joy. Asal jo mafhoom hai tahajjud ka wo to so kar uthna hai. Aur tatajafa junoobuhum anil mazaje. Ye mazmoon hai jo Quran Sharif ne bayan kiya hai. Ke Allah ki mohabbat mein unke bistaron ki narmiyan aur garmiyon ko chhod kar unke kandhe alag ho jate hain. To tahajjud mein ka matlab hi koshish karna hai asal mein. جد و جہد کرنا ہے ایسے وقت میں جب نیند کا غلبہ ہو آرام کے لیے انسان ترس رہا ہو تھکا ہوا آدمی آدھی رات کو پھر بھی اٹھتا ہے تو جو کوشش کر کے اس کو اٹھنا پڑتا ہے یہ تہجد ہے تو وہ نوافل تو ہوں گے تہجد نہیں ہوگا دا ہولی پروفیٹ پیس بی اپن ہم یوز ٹو آفر تہجد پلیئرز ریگولرلی اینڈ ہی آلسو ایڈوائز ہیز کمپنینس اینڈ فیملی ممبرز ٹو ڈو سو From Bukhari, Al-Mughira narrates that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to pray until both his feet or legs would swell. He was asked why he offered such an unbearable prayer, and he replied saying, Should I not be a thankful slave? Again from Bukhari, Al-Aswad narrates that he asked Hazrat Aisha about how the Prophet, peace be upon him, would spend his night. She replied saying that he used to sleep early at night, then get up in its low spot to pray and then return to his bed and when the muezzin pronounced the azan he would get up if he was in need of a bath he would take it otherwise he would perform ablution and then go out to pray fajr their sides keep away from their beds and they call on their lord in fear and hope and spend out of what we have bestowed on them It is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari that one night Allah's messenger may peace and blessings be upon him came to Fatima the prophet's daughter and Ali bin Abi Talib who is the cousin and also son-in-law of the prophet and asked them whether they wouldn't pray at night Ali bin Abi Talib replied to the prophet of Islam saying that their souls are in Allah's hands and that Allah would make them wake up if he wanted to do so When Ali bin Abi Talib said that Prophet Muhammad may peace and blessings be upon him left them without saying anything and they later heard that he was hitting his thigh and said but man is more quarrelsome than anything 
As you can see, in the eyes of Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, Tahajjud prayer was of great importance. To further show this importance, it is narrated in another hadith in Tirmidhi, reported by Abu Umama al-Bahili, may Allah be his helper, whereby the Messenger of Allah, may peace and blessings be upon him, said, Hold tight to night prayer, for it was the way of the righteous before you, a way of drawing closer to your Lord, an expiation for wrong deeds, and a shield from sin. Verily, getting up at night is the most potent means of subduing the self, and most effective in respect of words of prayer. Though haste indeed, during the day, a long chain of engagements. So remember the name of thy Lord, and devote thyself to him with full devotion. Commenting the verse 7, Hazrat Muslim Aoud says, The self can be reformed and great spiritual heights can be obtained with the Hajjud. Anyone who performs it will discover its importance. The companions of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, were very regular in praying to Hajjud. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, has said, May Allah have mercy on the husband and the wife who wake each other up for prayer at night. If the husband wakes up, let him offer tahajjud and wake up his wife. If she does not get up, let him sprinkle some water at her face. Similarly, if the wife wakes up, let her do the same. That is, offer tahajjud and wake her husband up by sprinkling some water at his face. The Holy Quran tells us that getting up for prayer at night straightens the self. According to the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, you must perform tahajjud, even if it is only to record. He also says that God Almighty accepts the prayers in abundance during the late part of the night. Tahajjud, therefore, is very important and beneficial. Our Jamaat should offer tahajjud prayers. He who cannot do more should offer even just two rakat because he will then get the chance to make some supplications. Supplications at this time have a special effect because they are offered with real pain and devotion. If one does not feel a certain pain and heartache, why would he leave his comfortable sleep? Waking up at this time will create a pain in our heart which will make our supplications full of distress and devotion, which in turn are the means of acceptance of one's prayers. Tomo Skura Dei